All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about an ABB ACS 800 drive. This is a trainer drive. Uh, we're gonna actually talk about how to actually scale the uh, trends a little bit better. So um, I talked about this in a previous video, but we're gonna to go to um, actually up here to file and then go to graph, go to preferences. And in preferences, you want to change your scaling method to from coefficient to offset to values at a hundred uh, to zero. So what that's going to do is going to get, it's going to give us the availability to take these actual positions. And I'll show you this. So we're going to come over here to actual positions. And as soon as they open up, and then we're going to grab our. We can get uh, the regular feet uh, motor right here we'll get the motor uh, arc speed right here <clears throat> and then we'll come down and, and scale this now what I want to do is I want to have the trend at a 0 to 100 like we talked about before so what we need to do is scale this now okay so you notice how it says it looks different so we go back to start data <clears throat> and we're gonna look at the start data here and at this point, we want to look at RPMs. So we're 1360. So we're going to put 1360. So that would be 100% of what we want. Now, what I'm going to do is actually start the trend. I'm going to actually put it in manual mode and put it at uh, let's see five or let's just see half of 1360. Uh, we can probably go actually. Let's just go like like 50. Per, well, close a little over 50% probably. I don't know, let's just go like something like 700 <clears throat> so that way we, we have that and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start our trend and then at this point we can start our actual actually let's let's change our trend a little bit so that we're, we're gonna change our trend just a little bit we're gonna change the length so we can see a little bit more of it Instead of the short length, we want to have our time uh, our time span a little bit better. So uh, again, when we come over here, we can come to start, and then we go to start our drive. We're going to see it ramp up, go to 700. Okay, so 700 RPMs, and then it's going to stay right there, right? So again, roughly 50 something percent, right? Okay, so let's let's change that a little bit, and let's go to 13. 60 and now you should see it step up to a hundred percent So this is going to be a hundred percent and you see it's barely hovering at the trend because it's almost out of data. So if we Went right here You can see that it, it is actually there. Okay, so again if we want to scale if We want to scale this right what we do is we go up to preferences and we go up to graph and we go to preferences and we open that up and we change it to <clears throat> see now if we look at this and I want to stop the, the drive right quick but now if we go and look at this we can look at our trend and see the scaling is now it's a the value at y equals 100 the value at z at, at y equals 0 so you can change the zero uh, as well. So you, if you wanted to go negative, you can go negative, right? If you're negative, if you wanted to go look, look positive and negative, you could do that as well. But again, that's going to be zero to a hundred. So just keep that in mind. So that's, uh, that's the way I personally like to scale things. Uh, even though we looked at scaling the different way, you know, as far as the trend and everything goes. But again, when it comes down to it, that's the most uh, tried and true way to actually uh, set up your, your trends and then have them all zero to 100. So, because, and the reason being is because, say, let's just for instance, let's just say we want to look at like torque percentage or something like that. So, if we look at like the torque used or something like that, it's something in percentage, right? Torque used, we can just grab that down here and then <clears throat> again start our trend and then start this. So you can see our torque is the, is already going to be 0 to 100. Our speed though, you can see our speed. So you can see our torque is in black and our, our speed is in red. So let's go 500, change this. Our torque, 
does not change because we don't have a load on this but you see our speed does change so they are linear in this case it, the torque is in percentages so it's 0 to 100 and then again the speed now is at 0 to 100 because it's, z it's scaled for the maximum RPMs of the drive so with that said hope you learned a lot from that video and again when you come up here and if you did not catch that you go to graph go to uh, preferences and then you change from scaling method from coefficient to offset and offset to values at a hundred percent to zero and that's how you fix that so with that said hope you learned a lot from that video and we'll see you guys on the next one